Hey guys, so if you couldn't tell by the title, I have been on testosterone for a whole month now. That's mad. It has gone so quickly. So this is just an update video to tell you guys what has happened to my body. Uh, not much has happened, so it could potentially be quite a short video. Lost my train of thought. <laughs> Shit. I also want to make this video for my family members in the UK who obviously don't see me every day. So it's not like a huge shock to them when I see them next. And they're like, shit, you have a beard and stuff. I want this video to be super casual, so I've got my coffee. Uh, I've got my pajamas on. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry about my pasty legs. And I'm just sat on the floor talking to a camera. Haven't scripted this. It's probably going to be just a huge rambly shite mess. Shite mess? Uh, I haven't watched too many like testosterone update videos, um, but I'm pretty sure the gist of it is just updating you on the changes that have happened. So that's what I'm going to do. Number one. So the first like three days after I actually got my shot, I had the worst sore throat ever. And I reached out to a few trans guys that I know through like Facebook and they said like the same thing happened to them. So I don't know if that's just like a normal thing that testosterone does and I actually just upped my dose on Friday and I've got a super sore throat again so second is acne I have never had bad skin except when I was about 10 and I had warts all over my face like all up here and here and here and I have no photo or video evidence of them ever existing but believe me they did because they traumatized me and I got bullied and they were horrific to remove anyway <laughs> yeah but I've, I've never had acne I've never had pimples I've never had breakouts like all throughout female pregnancy what <laughs> pregnant all throughout female puberty but I I'm breaking out I don't know if you can see but I'm getting like breakouts here and under this fringe is bad. Um, I wonder if I can show you. Wait. Oh. Uh, number three. Uh, this one may or may not require a bit of backstory. So I was a late bloomer. I hit puberty when I was 16 and um, ever since I turned 16 I've been a very horny person. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm sexually driven like it's not the only thing I care about kind of thing but I'm just, I'm, I'm just a horny person. Um, and that, that's doubled since I've been on testosterone. Um, yep. Like I've had to remove all the peaches from my house. I haven't. I don't eat peaches. Yeah, it, it's been, it's been a... <sighs> I was actually talking to a, a local trans guy through Facebook and he said, um, it's kind of shit when you sat testosterone because you're like, you just want to have sex with everyone and everything. Uh, but you're like way too self-conscious and dysphoric about your body to do anything about that. Um, it's been good. It's been great. And fourth, the final uh, kind of change that I've experienced is um, a bit graphic, but it's part of the change. So, and it's natural um, when starting testosterone, so whatever. And that's bottom growth. Um, so if you didn't know, when somebody goes on testosterone, their genitals change. Um, how do I say this without being super graphic? Um, so I've always had quite a small clitoris. Um, and probably like three weeks on testosterone I was in the shower and I was like something doesn't feel right like I feel like I'm having like growing pains down there um and I kind of just ignored it got out of the shower and like it felt like my junk had a heartbeat I was like uh so I, I thought I'd investigate the situation and uh it's like doubled in size already i mean that's calmed down now and i haven't noticed any more like growth since then so i really hope my nan's not watching this <laughs> so yeah those are the only changes only i say only it's quite a lot 
uh, for one month on testosterone, I think. Um, but yeah, that is my one month on testosterone update video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will be back for my two month update next month because that's how that works. Okay, see you guys. Hi, end screen people. Congratulations for making it through this video. I want to do this thing um, because I found out YouTube doesn't let you do annotations anymore, which sucks. So instead of like having a link to my next video on the screen, I'm just going to have a little end screen video for you, like a little bonus video. Um, so hi, I'm Jed. And while you click the subscribe button, I'm going to dance for you. Oh, that is a suggestive dance move, which, uh, no. Okay, I'm just gonna dance. I can't dance, if you can tell. So, enjoy this. Have you hit subscribe? Because I'm not gonna stop until you have. It's really awkward. Okay, yep, see ya. <laughs> yep, that's hot. <laughs> and I actually, Oh, I stink. I'm so glad that there's no smell of vision. But I always have this like fear that if smell vision is like created, can people like go back to your old videos and smell what those videos smell like? Because <laughs> if you're in like 2020 and they've invented smell of vision, enjoy that. What kind of thumbnail be? No. And I actually just up uh, so but yeah, that is my one month 